They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters, MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clocks stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The Pyramid. Tom Thomas, can I open my eyes? Not yet. Hurry, will ya? That's it. I'm ready for the contest. Ta-da! Wait, that's a pastry. This is a pastry, Nolik. But this is an Egyptian pyramid. Oh, wow. Doesn't it look just like an anthill? Sure does. I remember when Grand Poos told us that inside of those is a labyrinth and a mummy of a sparrow. No, a pharaoh. The Egyptian pyramids are simply amazing ancient structures. The biggest one of them is the Great Pyramid of Cheops. It's more than 4,000 years old and over 100 meters tall, like a 40-story building. How it was possible to build such a giant way back then is still a mystery. There were no hoisting cranes in those days. Some people believe that the pyramids were built by aliens, but I have a feeling that they couldn't have been built without the Fixies' help. So, is there a labyrinth in there? Of course. Show me. You joking? I just put it together for the contest. No way I'm gonna break this apart. Hey, isn't that a way in? Where are you going? I'm just gonna look at the labyrinth. And the mummy! Mummy, what are you talking about? Well, which way now? Stop, you'll get lost. I won't get lost. So, I think I'll go this way. And then this way. Come back, Nolik. I was already here. And I was here. Oh. 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 I did get lost. You were right. What? Hey there. Do you know where Nolik is? In there. He went mummy hunting, and he got lost. Mummy? Whoa! A real one? Class! Don't! No, like, yoo-hoo! Are you in here? No! Then where? Who knows? Who builds labyrinths like this anyway? Hey, nobody asked you to go in my labyrinth. Who are you talking to in there? Digit, Fire and Nolik are inside, and I need to go to school now. Nolik! Fire! Well, I, for one, have never gotten lost in a labyrinth because I know the rule for getting out. You need to always keep your hand on the wall. I can find them for you. Where are you guys? Over here! <laughs> I forgot which of these walls I was touching with my hand. Did you find them? No! And I got myself completely lost in here! Tom Thomas, you've got school today, don't you? Yeah, I do. Only I got a pyramid full of fixies. <laughs> it's like an anthill. Mm-hmm. The first one wanted to go mummy hunting. The second one went looking for the first one. And the third for both. We're lost in here! And I've got school to get to. Wait, maybe you could just try to shake them out. Good idea! <laughs> <laughs> Joking! <laughs> you have string? Watch. This way you don't get lost. When you're going on a trip, think about how to keep from getting lost and how to find your way back. Don't just rely on maps and the GPS in your phone. Take a compass with you. It will show you the cardinal directions without needing phone service. You can also find north and south by looking at the sun, stars, or even an anthill in the woods. Take a good look. The slope that's gentler faces south, and the one that's steeper faces to the north. And if you find yourself walking through a labyrinth, don't get lost. Just walk with one hand always touching the wall, and eventually you'll get out. Another way to get through a labyrinth is to tie a rope at the entrance and unreel it along the way. Then, you can follow its path back out. Here's the first one. And the second. And Nolik? Oh! A mummy! Is it alive? It's me, Nolik! Uh. <laughs> but I couldn't find yours! That's because there's none in there. What? You mean I got lost in there for nothing? You're in such 
such a hurry. You didn't listen to what I said. But without a mummy, how can you win? Oh, then maybe you could be my mummy. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, did you win a prize? Uh-huh. My pyramid won. And here's a special extra prize for being the only one of us who knew how to get out of the labyrinth. Again? Another box of those pastries? That's fine with me. I really love them. They're awesome. I wish Fixies ate food. What a shame. Then I'll give some to your mommy. <laughs> The Solar Eclipse. All right, here we go. Mm hmm uh-huh. Tom Thomas, what's that for? There's a solar eclipse today. Look, and I'm gonna watch it. That's so cool. And what do you need the box for? Simka, did you forget? It's dangerous to look straight into the sun. Huh? It's so dark. Until it starts to get dark. Half an hour. We'd be happy to help you out with that, wouldn't we? Only one thing I don't get. The light will be gone? Like, gone forever? <laughs> How did you come up with that? There have been plenty of eclipses before this one. In outer space, everything is in a state of constant movement. The Earth revolves around the Sun, and the Moon revolves around the Earth. Sometimes the moon gets in between the sun and the earth and covers the sun. And so, for a little while, the sun no longer appears as a bright glowing sphere, but a simple black ball. <laughs> this phenomenon is called a solar eclipse. But a solar eclipse can only be seen by humans and fixies that are in its shadow while it's happening. But anything can happen. Like, what if something gets stuck? Then, would it stay dark forever? And when has that ever happened? It's happening now! Nolik, either help us out or stop bothering us. All right, look. This is the Earth, here, and the Moon, there. The flashlight's our sun. <laughs> you see? The moon's shadow falls on the Earth. And now watch. When the moon starts to go, the light comes back. <laughs> Did it get stuck? Just like I said, the end is near. The end of the light. It's just that someone should be more careful with the glue. It's possible to take an ordinary box and make a special device that was invented by people long ago. It's called a camera obscura. This clever invention was used by artists as well as scientists. It was the basis for the very first photo cameras. It's quite easy to make your own camera obscura. Cut out a small square on one side of a box, cover it with aluminum foil, and poke a little hole in the center of it. Put a sheet of paper on the opposite side. The light will pass through the hole and shine through the darkness. And on that screen, you'll see the eclipse. Only it will appear upside down. To see it, you'll need to look at it from above. But make sure not to let extra light in. Beautiful. And remember to be careful with those scissors. But don't you understand that it's scary in the dark? And it's impossible to live in it. Don't be a coward. You glow in the dark. But what about Tom Thomas? Is he gonna have to walk like this? Ah! Uh. You'll be able to light up the way for him. And if I run out of juice? I'll use my flashlight. And when the batteries run out? Relax, I'll find more. In the dark? No, we have to get prepared right now. Can you see the sun? Uh-huh. One minute left. You ready? A minute? What? Hold on. I'm not ready yet. I'll get charged a little more. No, I need to get those batteries. Ten seconds. Nine seconds. Eight seconds. What should I do? Six. What should I do? Five. Ah! Four. Three. Two. Marcia. Here it goes. Whoa. <gasps> it's totally beautiful. Nolik, come on out. You'll miss everything. It's amazing. 
class. It's so awesome that we did this. Look, look! Now the sun's coming back out. Show it to me. It really didn't get stuck. You mean the whole eclipse is done? It was cool, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Only I missed the whole thing. <sighs> well, you'll see the next one, right? If you don't get spooked again. You're not going to throw the box away, are you? I'll save it for you. I can use it to store something useful. Batteries, for instance. What if tomorrow's the end of the light and Nolik's not ready for it? <laughs> <laughs> Roll camera, action. And Tom Thomas, is he gonna have to walk like this? Sorry about that, I felt too early. Nolik, come on. I only need one more take, all right? Yeah.